Hey, what's up? It's Nick with another edition of A Road to Recovery presented by Addiction Recovery Care. Today, I'm joined by Mickey Arvin, somebody who is in long-term recovery. She has spent a lot of time around people that are newly in recovery at many of our centers. Mickey, can you tell us a little bit about what the conversation is like for people that have children and leaving them behind or leaving them with a family member to come and focus on themselves to try to get them their selves help? So the, the thing I remind them is the most is going to treatment's the best thing that you could ever do for your, yourself and your children. And so um, you can't be the mother or the father that you're called to be and if, if you're not taking care of you first. And so I really just encourage them to know that what happens, Nick, is when they get in treatment, they they can no longer numb those feelings. There's nothing there to numb them, so they have to feel them. And so I just try to encourage them to know that sitting still is the first selfless thing that you will ever do for your child. Because staying there feels selfish, but it's not real. So you have to remember that it's a selfless decision and it's a momentary thing mm -hmm. for a long-term solution. And that they may have to miss today, but they never have to miss again. Mickey, as I stated, you are somebody in long-term recovery. Kind of tell me about what that was like for you of stepping aside, being a parent, and entering into a world of addiction treatment. I mean, I'm not going to lie, Nick. It was super hard. It, it, it was hard, but at the same time, um, I knew that if I didn't do something, I was going to lose my child for good. Uh, either I was going to die or I was going to end up in prison for a long time. Uh, and I, they just was not going to let me around her using, and, and rightfully so. So for me, it was a hard decision, but the best one that I've ever made. And, you know, now after having years of clean time, she doesn't really even remember me being gone because she was so little when I got clean. And... I know you've also spent time around people in recovery that have regained custody of their kids, um, that are now the mother, the father that they have always wanted to be. What is what are those conversations like? Um, you know, parents are just they're so happy, and that's one of the best parts of what we do is we get to see them come in so broken they don't even have visitation with their kids they've not seen their kids to getting to watch them post pictures of their first mm -hmm. reunification with their child or their their first post that says I'm getting my kids for the weekend for the first time in, in three years so there's nothing feels like that right it's not just about the mom or the dad it's literally a generation of people that you're, you're that, that's going to be affected from your decision to get clean and I always tell people your, your children Children are going to feel the effects of what you do, whether that's positive or it's negative. So do positive things, and they'll automatically feel the effect of it. Yeah. All right, Mickey. Well, that is some great advice. And, of course, anybody out there that needs help, feel free to reach out. But for now, we're going to send it back to you all in the studio.